All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be solving the equation x to the power of x to the power of six is equal to 144. So to solve this equation, I'm gonna first start by taking the power of six on both sides. And I know you guys might be thinking, why do we need to take another power when there's already two powers right here? And I'll show you guys why in just a second. But now we have x to the power of x to the power of six to the power of six is equal to 144 to the power of six. And now the reason I did that is because if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of n to the power of m, meaning I can switch the places of these exponents. So right here I have x to the power of x to the power of six to the power of six, and we can just say this whole thing, x to the power of 6, is m, and 6 is n, and I'm actually going to switch the places of these. So now I get x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144 to the power of 6. And the reason I'm doing all of this is so I can make this equation in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b. So that way, we get, this turns into a is equal to b. Because if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, we can just cancel out these two exponents, or the bases, and just turns into a is equal to b. So we already have a equals a for my left-hand side because both the base and the exponent are the same. They're both x to the power of 6. So now we just need to do the same with our right-hand side. And what I'm going to do to do this is rewrite 144 as 12 squared. So now I have x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 12 squared to the power of 6. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is also equal to a to the power of m times n. So this turns into x to the power of 6 to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 12 to the power of 2 times 6, which is 12 to the power of 12. And now we have that a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b form because both our bases and exponents are the same. So this means that a is equal to b or x to the power of 6 is equal to 12. And now I, if I take the sixth root on both sides, the sixth root of x to the power of 6 is x. So I get x is equal to positive or negative sixth root of 12. So this is my answer. If you, never, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends and family. Thank you.